Buenos dias, my dear brothers and sisters. Today we reflect the greatest commandment of God. But as stated in the New Testament, specifically in the Gospel of St. John, God is telling us, I will give you a new commandment. What is new? And in fact, this uh, commandment to love has been the practice of many believers of Jesus and eventually followers of Jesus. And in fact, all of us, we are trying to live the commandment. But God is telling us that it is not enough. We need simply to uh, practice love to the utmost, to its essentiality. So, this new commandment of love has the following elements. The first one is, it is godly. Godly because we have the reference, we have the model, Christ Himself. And we know how God loved us. We know how God simply offered His life for all of us. Second element, uh, it is uh, radical. So, by the term itself, radical, it means that you love with your totality. You love without boundedness. You love without limit. You, you love, so to say, that can simply uh, be embraced by other people and can be understood by other people. So, radical. Next, it is empathic. It is not only resonance, but rather you are standing on the very shoes of the person. It is more than a kind of feeling that I feel you, but rather I, uh, so to say, I am standing on your very shoes. I can simply resonate, I can simply understand you, and I eventually live your uh, real situation. The next element is, it is emptying. It's like the term kenosis, the self-emptying of God so that He can pour out His life for all of us and to offer us salvation. So emptying, that's why we have the saying, give until thirst, so love until it hurts also. Love until nothing was left. Uh, love simply to uh, give everything. Then, it is a kind of love that is transcendental. That is the fifth element of the new commandment to love. Transcendental because it is beyond the stereotype uh, of loving. We as a human person, human being, we experience different kinds of love and express love towards one another. But it is always in the context of reciprocity, in the context of our desire, in the context of what we can get, in the context of our, what we are longing. So it is always human bound. It is just simply within uh, the, the box. But God is always encouraging us transcendent love. And lastly, a kind of love that is sensible. It means that uh, it can be felt, it can be smelled, it can be touched. So our love must be sensed by other people to make it concrete, to make it complete. So may all of us, Christians, embrace the new commandment to love. May God bless us.